Okay, let's evaluate the integral of sine to the fourth x. We'll be using two different methods to do that. The first one would be by using trig identities. The second one would be by using a reduction formula. So let's start with the first method. We have to rewrite this as sine squared of x squared and then use the identity sine squared x equals one half times one minus cosine of two x. So here's what the integral becomes one half one minus cosine of two x whole thing squared squaring one half we have one fourth we can put it in front of the integral and then we have one minus cosine of two x squared Let's expand that. That gives us one fourth times the integral one minus two cosine of two x plus cosine squared of two x. We'll need one more identity. Cosine squared of two x equals one half times one plus cosine of four x. We'll double the angle. Now go back to the integral and replace cosine square of 2x. So this is 1 fourth times the integral of 1 minus 2 cosine 2x plus 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 4x. We're almost ready to integrate. Let's simplify this a little more. This is 1 fourth. We have 1 and then 1 half times 1 is a half so that gives us 3 halves minus 2 cosine 2x plus 1 half cosine of 4x. And we can now integrate. So this is 1 fourth. The integral of 3 halves would be 3 halves x. The integral of minus 2 cosine of 2x would be minus sine of 2x. And the integral of 1 half cosine of 4x would be 1 eighth sine of 4x. Let's multiply everything by 1 fourth. So we end up with 3 over 8x minus 1 over 4 sine of 2x and then plus 1 over 32. So let's put that over here. 1 over 32 times sine of 4x and let's add a constant. We'll call it c1. So the answer, the integral, of sine to the fourth of x is 3 eighths x minus 1 fourth sine of 2x plus 1 over 32 sine of 4x. Now there's another way to solve this problem and that's by using reduction formulas. You should look into using reduction formulas. There's one for sine to the n, cosine to the n, tangent to the n, secant to the n. You should look them up whenever you have to. Here's a formula for integrating sine to the n of x. It is equal to minus sine to the n minus 1 of x cosine of x divided by n plus n minus 1 over n. Here's where reduction formula comes from and that would be sine to the n minus 2 of x dx. So we reduce in the integral on the right the power of sine has been reduced from n down to n minus 2. In our case, n equals to 4. So applying this formula to the integral of sine to the fourth of x, we find that it would be minus sine cubed of x cosine of x divided by 4 plus 3 over 4 times the integral of sine squared x dx. Now we can integrate sine squared using the identity. We've done it before. But we can apply the formula to sine squared x. This time n is 2. So this will be minus sine x cosine x, the reduction formula, divided by 2 plus 1 half times the integral 2 minus 2 is 0, sine to the 0 is considered to be 1. So it's, it's just the integral of 1. And this is minus 1 half sine x cosine x plus 1 half x. Let's get back to the original integral. 
So our original integral was the integral of sine to the fourth of x. It was minus one fourth sine cubed x cosine x plus three over four times the integral of sine squared, which we just found that was minus one half sine x cosine x plus one half x. And then multiplying this through, we end up with the following answer minus 1 over 4 sine cubed x cosine x minus 3 divided by 8 sine x cosine x plus 3 over 8 x plus constant of integration c2. So this is the answer that we get by using the reduction formula. If you recall the answer that we got by using trig identity, it's not doesn't look the same. Answer we got before was 3 over 8x minus 1 over 4 times sine of 2x plus 1 over 32 times the sine of 4x plus constant of integration 1. So if we look at this answer here and this answer here, they don't look the same. One thing, 3 over 8x and 3 over 8x do match. And the constants could be anything, so we don't worry about those. It's the parts with trigonometric functions that have to be reconciled. So what I'm going to do next is to reconcile these answers, show you they are the same. I'm going to show you that minus 1 fourth sine cubed x cosine x minus 3 over 8 sine x cosine x. I'll show you that that's equal to minus 1 over 4 sine 2x plus 1 over 32 times the sine of 4x. And that way we'll know that both methods clearly the solutions are the same because when you integrate something whatever method you use your answers better be the same. They only can differ up to a constant. Okay we'll start with this minus 1 fourth sine cubed x cosine x minus 3 over 8 sine x cosine x. I'm going to factor minus 1 eighth sine x cosine x and that leaves me with 2 sine squared x plus 3. If you multiply this out you'll see that that's exactly what we have. Now the trig identity we'll be needing here is this one sine of 2x equals to 2 sine x cosine x or sine x cosine x is equal to 1 half times the sine of 2x. So I'm going to replace the sine x cosine x with 1 half sine of 2x. So we have minus 1 eighth times 1 half is minus 1 16th sine of 2x times 2 sine squared x plus 3. Sine squared I'll replace with 1 half 1 minus cosine of 2x and then plus 3. So this is minus 1 over 16 sine of 2x times 2 times 1 half is 1 times 1 is 1 minus cosine of 2x plus 3. So this is minus 1 over 16 times sine of 2x times 4 and then minus a minus plus 1 over 16 sine of 2x cosine of 2x. Well the first part is minus 1 fourth sine 2x plus 1 16th times sine 2x cosine 2x but sine 2x cosine 2x can be expressed as 1 half times sine of 4x. That's what I'm going to put here. So we have 1 16th times 1 half sine 4x and this is minus 1 fourth sine 2x plus 1 over 32 sine of 4x. That's exactly what the, the first answer was, at least the trigonometric part of the first answer. So the answers are reconciled. Use 
reduction formulas whenever you have whenever you're integrating sine to the 6 or secant to the 6 or some